Validating an idea is not easy, but there are different ways to, to kind of narrow down the types of options and especially the types of ideas that you have and try to work towards an idea that, that's actually working, right? So the very first thing is you need to define, you need to explore your total addressable market, understand uh, what, what your market size is, right? So it's great to start with a niche idea, but you also want to make sure that this niche idea doesn't really cover just five or 10 or, or 15 uh, 100 people out there, and that's literally where your total addressable market ends. Unless it's you know Nasdaq 100, and it's great, you know it, there's enough worth and value in that. So total addressable market is one thing. Competitive space, you want to evaluate blue ocean versus red ocean, meaning whether you you are in a safe space, um, very limited competition, lots of kind of room for success, or a very condensed um, you know packed space, such as for example. Deaf agencies, marketing agencies, SEO agencies, like every you know other person is doing SEO or development work nowadays. Third one is defining your bar persona and understanding everything about them, really charting them, mapping this out, uh, writing down what they work, what they do for a living, their net worth, their salary, what are they what are they striving for, and their pain points, right? And and working backwards from that, you can actually work with these uh, pain points and figure out whether they are worth paying for, right? Um, there are a lot of entrepreneurs and kind of successful business owners who are always advising to work with uh, high net worth individuals because working with people with higher net worth means that they have more expensive problems to solve. Same goes as if you provide design or marketing or advertising or SEO services, uh, working with SMBs or individuals is going to yield very little return compared to working with enterprises. Because increasing the conversion rate with a 0.1% for an enterprise making hundreds of millions uh, is going to result in potentially hundreds of thousands or even millions in revenue gain by this very little tiny change. For a business that's making 10 grand a month, uh, changing him a 1%, which is a huge difference, uh, is going to result in 100 bucks. So it's it's not really worth solving that uh, that type of an expensive problem for the business in itself. So figure out, again, total addressable market, competitive pool, buyer persona, what are their pain points, whether these ideas were paying for, then go validate that, speak to like find 10 people working in your market, try to figure out if they really face that problem and also try to pre-sell that problem. If that works, there's a good chance that your idea is going to work. And once again, unless and until you get actual hard-earned money from people, uh, it's all about promises or expectations. If you actually get them to apply, to prepay, to um, uh, you know, book up front or so, uh, then it really means that your idea is great.